that Christ died for me was a day that spreads out even throughout this time that though we weren't there over 2,000 years ago he shed his blood for you and for me two thieves and the lamb what a worthy lamb so worthy that he woke us up this morning to start us on our way and we asked ourselves the question what can we do for Christ today that will last and so today we're just so excited about this one thing that we can be challenged to just be happy today. Here, as we go into this word, we're going to be talking about the five ways of happiness. That's right. The five, I shouldn't say five, but the five secrets of happiness. But you're going to find it from the word of God. Let's pray together as we look to the word of God to find out the five secrets of happiness. Father, again, we want to thank you for the opportunity of finding out so much more about your word. We want to put on the whole armor of you. We want to put on the whole armor. So right now I'm asking that your Holy Spirit will be with us and bless us as we talk about five secrets to happiness. Be with us, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Here we go. Five secrets of happiness. Now today, you're challenged. You are challenged to, to being a happy individual. Aren't you tired sometimes when you go to work or even in your homes or whatever you do that you find people who are just not happy individuals? You don't want to be that kind of individual. No, you don't. You want to be a happy individual. And I know you can't. And let's look what the Word of God says. First thing of all, first of all, look at Isaiah 2 verse 3. If you have to write it down, Isaiah 2 verse 3, it says, That will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on Jesus. Okay, so now we know the first thing we've got to do is keep our mind on Jesus. Th that will keep us in perfect peace, Isaiah 2, verse 3, if we keep our minds on Jesus. Okay, okay. here it is, Isaiah 46, 18. Oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandments, then had they peace like a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Wow. So now we find that if we keep his commandments, we would be a peaceful people. Can you believe that? The commandments, are you telling me that if we break the word of God, if we break the commandments, then then we will be unpeaceful people or we will not be happy? Well, we know this much, that when we follow the word of God, we become happier people. Now, now, so now we know this much, that if we stay in the commandments, we will be happy. And if we... And listen closely. And if we uh, keep our mind stayed on him, we will be happy. Let's look at this one. Number one, helping others. Proverbs 14, verse 21 says, He that despises his neighbor sinneth, but he that has mercy on the poor, happy is he. Wow, that means if you want to be happy, you've got to make others happy. You see what that text says? And then here's another text. Another text that says in Matthew chapter 25, verse 35, For I was hungry, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Oh. Now, even when you look at verse 40, it says, Inasmuch as ye have done these to my brethren, you have done it to me. So that means if someone is hungry, we ought to take care of them. If someone is naked, we ought to clothe them. Number one, if you want to be happy, we've got to help others. Let's remember that for today. Let's remember that for today. Okay, here's another one. Uh, for helping others. Psalm 41, 1 and 2. Watch this now. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive and he shall be blessed upon the earth. So that tells us again. That if you want to be happy, you ought to help others. How about this one? If you want to happy, be happy, you ought to be a praying individual. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 says, pray without ceasing. We ought to pray without ceasing. Now, I like this because if our minds are stayed on Jesus and we follow the commandments of God, which is his word, the first thing we ought to understand is that we've got to help one another then we've got to be a praying people let me give you another text about prayer and he speak a parable unto them unto this end that men ought to pray and not faint men ought to pray and not faint 
Wow. Here's another. As for me, I will call upon the Lord and he will save me. Evening, morning, and noon will I pray and cry aloud. He shall hear my voice. So that means we're understanding that prayer is important. Hey, you want to be happy? Number one, you got to help others. Number two, you got to be a praying individual. And number three, we've got to contemplate nature. Wow. Contemplate nature. Well, it's, it's important to understand that Psalm 19 verse 1 of God and affirm it, show his handiwork. And I know those who are right now, we know we're saying, I don't want to see any more of this nature called snow. We've been receiving snow and I've heard in the UK, you've been receiving a lot of rain, but it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you can't contemplate nature and know that God is God. So you want to stay happy? Number one, help others. Number two, prayer. Number three, contemplate nature and i'm going to give you another text for contemplation of nature psalm 8 1 uh 3 and 9 O lord our lord how excellent is thy name above all the earth who has set thy glory above the heavens when i consider the heavens and the work of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visiteth him so we can see again that God's handiwork simply helps us to realize that he is God and we become a complete and happy individual knowing that we contemplate nature. You know, sometimes the city life that we're living in or sometimes the hustle and bustle that we're going through in life, we don't ever stop and just contemplate nature. If we would just stop and see God, and it will make us happy. Let's go over it. Ready? First one, got to help others. Number two, got to be a person of prayer. Number three, we ought to contemplate nature. Number four, you ready for this? Resist the slavery of things. Now, Exodus 20 verse 3 tells us, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Hey, every time I read this, it helps me to realize that God does not want us to put anything before him have nothing before him. And so we're seeing here where it says, do not be a slavery to things. In the commandments, it tells us, really, in the commandments, it tells us, and God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And then it tells us, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Wow. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So we ought to resist today. We ought to resist the slavery of things. And then one more. Ready? It's plain old Bible study. The word of God is going to make us happy. So let's go over that one more time. Ready? Let's go over it one more time. The five secrets of happiness is helping others. Number two is prayer. Number three, contemplation of nature. Number four, resisting the slavery of things. And number five, Bible study. Wow, I want to be a happier individual. I don't know about you. But if you're waking up this morning, you're saying, Lord, I want my day to change, then change your day by contemplating to a, a nature. Change your day by praying. Change your day by not being a slave of things. Change your day by uh, looking into his word. Change your day by prayer. You can. You can make it today as a happy individual if you follow these few exercises. I want to know how you did today. So if you have the opportunity, please email me at paulgram70 at gmail.com. Simply so I can hear how your day went. Again, helping others, prayer, contemplation of nature, resist the slavery of things, and Bible study. I'm so excited about that. I hope you are too. And that I want you to know that we want to pray for you. I'm sure you have some prayer requests right now. And as you have some prayer requests given out right now, I want you to know that we are in the business of praying for every individual. So as we play this song, we want you to take your prayer requests. You can also send your prayer requests to paulgram70 at gmail.com, but you can put it in the chat room so that not only am I praying for you, but the 